Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So this video today, I'm sure most of you know about the COVID-19 coronavirus that's, you know, spreading across the nation. It's pretty serious out here where I am. I'm in the Northeast. I'm, um, I live in Long Island. And if you follow the news, New York State's probably getting hit. But the most cases, it's like New York and California. Really bad right now. So I'm going to do my part in social distancing myself. And I'm going to do it the best way I know how. Right here. Do some fishing. Got nobody around me. Out here, I know I ain't gonna get no coronavirus. I ain't gonna spread no coronavirus. We're safe out here. And that's what I think I'm gonna do the next couple of days. This video, I'm probably gonna film in the course of like a few days. So this is gonna be day one, starting on this outing right here. Let's get right into it. I got my bass rod, seven foot, medium strength, fast action rod. I'm gonna throw a good old yellow rooster tail inline spinner, start with this and we'll just go from there. There's a fish. Finally got our first fish at this pond. Kind of on the smaller side. Oh no, he just came off. We got to rescue him in here. <laughs> there we go. Dropped right here in the leaves, but wasn't able to swim off so I just grabbed them real quick. Nice little bass. He's good to go. Alright so at least we got one fish so far. There we go fish on. Came right out of the Came right out of that brush pile right there. Ooh, easy. Second bass. Nice second bass. Another small one, but that was cool. He shot out of these branches right here. I saw him actually hit the rooster tail. another fish probably the same size fish as all the other ones <clears throat> nice catch though No way, fish on. Yes. This is definitely a striper. Why wow, I did not think we would have gotten a bass. Fishaholic finback shad got it. It's fighting good. My drag ain't making noise because I think the uh, clicker broke on it. Oh, that's a nice bass. Really nice first bass of the season. Ooh, look at that. Wow, it feels good to be catching these girls again. Fish a Hulk finback shad. All right, let's let this bass go. Give her a nice release. There he goes. Yes, that was sick. 
Can't believe we just got our first bass of the season in March. I was hoping to get one out here. Wasn't too sure if I would. Moving spots a little bit. See if maybe we can get a bite over here. Kind of slowed up in my first spot. So I didn't really mention before that uh, on day two on this video right now, even though for you guys from day one to day two was like the snap of a finger, it actually was like over a week and a half for me since I last caught fish, you know, since those last three bass that I caught. And uh, I it, mainly because of, I just haven't been catching, I've been trying to get out and go fish, but just been skunking. And then uh, in the middle of the week, they actually stocked the lakes with trout and um, I attempted to try to do some trout fishing, but I mean, the crowds were just so big. I, I really didn't feel comfortable there with the whole coronavirus going around. So I just really gave up fishing for the trout, which pretty much brought me here then to do some salt water. Get the social distance myself away from everyone. And we got into that first fish, first striper of the season. So that was pretty awesome. Just keep jumping docks right now. Hopefully we get into another fish. Tide is going out. It's dropped a lot. Dear fish up. Oh no, he came off. Oh, are you kidding me? All right, so we probably got about maybe a half hour before it gets too dark to film in. Sun is setting. I kind of been here like all day after I caught that one fish because you know, I was so pumped to catch more striper. And uh, I actually did get a few more bites within those couple hours I've been fishing, but we just haven't landed any. I had one on, he threw the hook right away. So that kind of stunk. But I'm trying to at least maybe get one more striper There we are. Got my second fish. Knew we would get one if we put in the time. Took a few hours since that last fish. Oh, what did we, oh, we just lost him. He was a little, that almost looked like a hybrid striper. Kind of looked like a white perch, but it had the stripes. He was small though, but shaped like a white perch with stripes. I really wish I could have landed that. What's up guys? So we're on the day three now. So I'm still Corona free, been socially distancing myself, coming out here fishing with, you know, nobody around me. So this is awesome. And uh, right now it's actually pretty serious up here in New York. We got like the most cases in the US. It's a real deal going on. Right now I'm just doing everything I can to just stay clean and not get sick. But we're gonna do some fishing today. Of course, I came back to some salt water. And today I'm gonna throw the Elias V Fishing Extreme Peanut Shad. These shads are actually, um, a little bit smaller profile than the regular Elias V fish and extreme shad. So I'm thinking, you know, these should work pretty well out here. We caught you know, on the fishaholic shad last time. So let's give these a shot. I got a, a three quarter ounce VMC jig head on. Should be good enough to get me out there, get me at the proper depth. So I don't think I mentioned the tackle I'm using. I'm using a seven foot St. Croix Mojo inshore rod. It's a medium heavy fast action and i got a 4000 shimano nasky reel on i'm just throwing um 15 pound test braid got a 15 pound test floral leader if i forget to mention tackle at all in any of my videos i always post everything down in the description so if you guys are ever wondering what i'm throwing what i'm using it's all listed down below oh yeah another thing my last fish i caught remember the drag wasn't working 
we got that clicker working again. I um I opened up the reel, found out the spring just kind of moved on the um the clicker assembly. So fixed all that. We got it going again. Now I actually have a peel and drag if we hook up. Look at all that bait. Hundreds of bunker passing through. Hope the camera's picking this up. Yeah, fish on. This feels good, it's definitely a striper. I knew we would connect, especially with all this. Oh no, is it a bass? No, I think it's just a snag bunker. Oh, I got my hopes up for nothing. Ah, oh, you annoying. There he goes. I didn't feel like handling them. Those bunkers smell. Oh man, I was so excited there. I thought that was definitely a striper. Foul hook a bunker, man. They they sure do pull. <laughs> There's a bite. Or are we just snagged? Hard to tell. Yep, snagged a bunker again. Lots of bait out here today. All right, guys, so as you can see, it's getting pretty dark now, sunset. We got a little bit of daylight left still. I'm gonna keep fishing right up until dark, but I think I'm probably gonna wrap this video here. If I do catch a fish, you know, obviously I'm gonna put it in the video. But it seems like today we just couldn't get another striped bass. Tried all afternoon, and it just seemed like there was so much bait out here. All we did was catch bunker after bunker. I must have probably snagged like a dozen bunker today. I mean, it's good to see all this bait around. That means, you know, springtime is here, bait's in our water, the striped bass are gonna get active. Well, I hope everyone that's watching this video, hope everyone's safe, everyone's healthy. Do your part, social distance yourself from others. This virus is the real deal. Definitely subscribe to my channel if you haven't. There's gonna be a lot more videos coming. Um, drop me a comment down below. Like this video if you like what you saw. Stay tuned to the next one. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.